Hi guys, Melissa here. Um, this is going to be the second part to the Grumbacher um, transparent watercolor set. Here was the first part. I just did a uh, color swatch and uh, showed you how they came. In this one, I'm just going to play around a little bit with them and see how they uh, react. I'm using my <laughs> plate that I bought as a um, palette. And I'm just going to have my paints here um, off camera as I'm using them because you have to remove at least one of them from the uh, thing it came in. Here's another little trick that I just bought also is an ashtray because I've been looking for something to set my paintbrushes in while I'm painting but I'm not I'm still in the middle of using them. And this uh, ashtray was like a dollar. And so I can just have somewhere to set my paintbrushes so that they're not rolling away or um, just getting the, the hairs bent or anything like that. So I thought I'd share that with you guys. It made me laugh. But um, there you go. That's what I have over here to the side. So let's start with some uh, wet into wet. And again, I'm using the Arches Hot Press watercolor paper. Um, the front side is used. So I tend not to throw away automatically my nicer papers. Even if I don't like what's on the front of it, I will reuse the back for, you know, anything like this or just to practice things and stuff. So, yeah. So I'm going to start with, let's see... I like this turquoise blue, so I'm going to start with the turquoise blue. I'm going to place that into the wet, on the wet paper. Get a little more water going. And let's merge that with maybe a, a darker blue with, with the Prussian blue. It's interesting because I really don't like the way these paints um, come as far as their packaging and just the feel of them when you're getting them on your brush. But I do like them when they're on the paper. So they do blend really well together. They've got a nice um, edge when you lighten the edge out. So that's really pretty. Let's try, let's see, let's try the Indian yellow, which is an orangish yellow on dry paper. Here, let me zoom me in over here on this. You see that pretty? Um, my paper is also um, at an angle, so it, it will naturally flow downwards. Okay, so I put this Indian yellow on dry paper and add some water to it. Now let's drop in some carmine. Let's see what we get. I like the way that they co, the way they work together. Um, really pretty how they do that. So, you know, I felt like I kind of gave it somewhat of a bad review and that's not really what I was trying to do. It's just, again, the packaging and how um, chalky the pans are was what I really didn't like about them. Okay, so let me zoom in. It's really pretty. Now let's try the um, flesh tone that it comes with. Let me 
make it in the shape of a face. Um, I don't know if these are light fast or if um, they're professional um, watercolor or student grade. Um, yeah, it doesn't really say if they're just under the watercolor paint sets on Blick. So not a bad base for starting a portrait. Could add a little bit of uh, carmine into that, get some color. Sorry, my shadow's terrible. So, I just wanted to, to do more of a video of showing you how they reacted with each other. You can get a very light, um, soft type of look with these, which is nice. So... Anyways, hope you enjoyed playing with the Grumbacher Transparent, Transparent Watercolor Pen Set 24. Um, if you're interested in the Opaque, which they do have the same set, uh, the Opaque is a little less expensive for the 24 pen set. It's $29.61 versus $38.25 on the Blick website. So yeah, they are uh, $10 less, which is interesting. Um, okay. Thanks you guys. See you next time. Bye.